We're in the Forest of Dean today, having a little experiment with a few different types of bikes. You may have noticed that recently we've got a lot of press about 29 inch wheels and for and against them. We're going to dispel some of the rumours and just show you exactly how things are. One of the things I love most about 29ers is the ability to do more with less. And with less, I'm talking about suspension. Okay, here we are on a full XC 29er. 80 mil of travel at the front, not even 100 mil, 80 mil of travel, nothing at the rear, just your tyres. You probably can just about see me following a downhill guy down here, probably on a seven or eight inch travel bike. You can hold these guys behind it. Okay, there'll be bits where they can get away from you, but not many bits. Okay, one of the better examples of showing what 29 is really capable of is a section of the track like this. It's pretty slippy, it's on actually a downward track here. On the 26 full sus, it's fine, it's, it's no problem to ride it, but you are, you are aware of having to really cut the tyre in to sort of hold your line and you've got to pick stuff carefully. But the 29 is noticeably quicker. It's quieter, it's smoother, I'm not trying half as hard. The fact is you are going faster, it just doesn't feel quite as fast. The major characteristic is how much more stable you feel, whether you're rolling over bumps or going through a turn. Wherever you are, you're sat in the bike better. And the reason for that is to get the bottom bracket low enough for the handling to feel good, otherwise you'll be way up in the air. The bottom bracket looks low on this bike. It's actually in relation to where it would be on the 26. On a 29 inch wheel bike, to get this bottom bracket position, the same height has got to be quite a bit lower than the wheel axles. Lower your centre of gravity, you're going to be more stable. For me, one of the biggest advantages of 29 inch wheel bikes is climbing. What does help the climbing of a 29 inch wheel bike is the way that the torque that the rider generates is used at the contact patch. 26 is quite spiky, you're kind of, you're, you're punching the power down. If you imagine the torque appearing on a graph, it would look like some sort of weird heart ECG, big, torquey spikes at those sp spiky points. Very short amount of time, maximum power, that's where your tread is going to slip. Whereas with a 29, the torque application to the wheel is far different. Slightly less spiky, slightly more rounded, more usable level of torque. One of the best things about 29 is, is that you can give it to somebody who's never really ridden a mountain bike before. They're just a great leveller. Descending and climbing and all those things, while they are comparatively easier on a 29er, it doesn't actually make the ride that much easier. We just end up getting into more trouble. We try and bite off bigger lumps of trail. 